All right, so if you're having a meter calibration problem and you want to release the air, if you think you have an air issue, you come to the two bleeders, leaving the, the sensing lines, the, the impulse lines open, and then you would just crack each bleeder to allow water to come through and make sure that the taps are open. And then you would crack the other one and that would bleed out the air. Now, you have to make sure you have bleeder holes right here that they're not facing someone or facing someone's body so that you don't spray them with water or contaminants. And, and that'll bleed out the air, but you should also check to see if your taps are plugged. And the way to do that, if you have a manifold, you can block it right here at the manifold open up both these taps and I would open them completely and take them out and then do the same with this one take it out and now I would open these block valves on the manifold all the way and making sure no one's here because it's going to spray process out here Blow them down real good. Give them a good 20 or 30 seconds because you're dealing with water. You can really leave them open and make sure the lines are real clear. Now, if you have one that's partially plugged, you'll have a wrong reading. It could be either high or low, depending on which side of the meter has the problem. And then after you're done, you block them back in, and then you put your bleeders back in, your bleeder uh, plugs back in. The other thing is if you don't have this manifold, you block it at the root valves. You must have some kind of valves between your meter and your process. Now, the other thing you want to do is you want to check the zero of the meter to make sure it's right. And the way to do that is you block the meter completely in. After you block the meter in, you take the bleeders out, or at least loosen them, and then you should have zero. And that would be on the face of the meter. You can see right now it's reading 0.1 inches and that, or 0.8 inches. So it's reading negative, so it's saying analog saturated. You want to make sure it's zero. And that's, that's how you check the zero. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you check the zero milliamps. And the way you do that is you get in line with an amp meter. It has to be an amp meter and you get in series with it. You take one of the lines off, that'll power down the meter. Then for ease, you put a jumper in or you can go direct. Then you're gonna take, if you break the white line, the positive has gotta be here. If you, if you, I'm sorry, if you break the negative, you put the positive to the negative and then your black lead to here and then you're reading milliamps. You have 4.018, which essentially is zero. If you do want to zero it, you need to have a piece of calibration equipment that can connect onto it and talk to it. And I'll show that real quick. So it's connected on, it's reading what the meter's reading. Then you want to go to service tools, maintenance, analog calibration, actually pressure calibration, zero trim, okay. Apply zero. We have it zero. You can't do this with any pressure on it. These plugs are open. You hit OK. Zero trim successful. OK.
and that's how you zero it. And that's what I would say to do if you're having a meter reading problem.